Hey everyone, welcome back. Time for another Let's Read. This time I've pulled out my 1996 Electronic Game and Monthly's Player Guide to the Nintendo 64 video games, which includes a complete insider's guide, reviews, previews, and tips and strategies. And obviously this one's going to be all about the game system of the Millennium, the N64. So without further ado, let's get started. Remember to hit that subscribe button share and leave me a comment at the end tell me what you thought about this particular magazine so you can see on the main cover there obviously mario with the n64 uh inside we're gonna be talking about some late breaking game previews pilot wing 64 mario 64 new info on the 64 dd bulky drive and tons more cool stuff or so they say so opening it up standard who created this issue again this was released in 1996 uh, special giveaway here where you could actually win a nintendo 64. what's inside i guess uh this is my first time going through this with you as well so uh this is all going to be a surprise to me but apparently we're going to find out inside the fun machine getting in-depth look inside the Nintendo and learn all about the system. Silicon graphics, help they, how they helped to design the uh, Nintendo from scratch, Pilot Wing 64 strategy guide, Paradigm Simulation Inc., which is another company uh, behind Pilot Wings, Super Mario 64 strategy guide, how to get all 120 stars hidden throughout the world. Shigeru Miyamoto, the Game Boy, Nintendo's Treehouse, Game Previews, Japanese Game Previews, and N on the Internet. So inside Fun Machine is how the Nintendo 64 project became a reality. Obviously, it's going to be talking about the system, the chipsets on the inside. Uh, here's some final specs, 64-bit. Uh, MIPS RISC processor running at 93.65 megahertz, memory RAM bus DRAM 36, uh, maximum transmission speed of 4500 M bits per second, the coprocessor, the performance of the system. You're in control. So this is where we see what the inside of an actual N64 controller looks like. Uh, if you haven't uh, had to disassemble one yet in terms of trying to replace the wonky um, controller there that tends to get loose after uh, tons of usage. Uh, this, I always like these kind of pictures where they show the, uh, the soldering process and the labeling of the board. I've yet to take apart a Nintendo 64, so this is kind of cool. I've certainly taken apart an NES uh, plenty of times to try and clean them and replace that 72 pin connector, so this is really cool. Inside the N64, this is where we're talking about the processor and what it can do. Um, I don't have that version of the box, which would be pretty cool. Foreign carts. There's a good chance that the U.S. and Japanese systems will be, for the most part, compatible with each other, except for the possibility of the carts being different sizes between the countries. Thanks for the memory. Uh, we all see in pickup videos when someone grabs an N64, everyone pops open the hatch because everyone uh, nerds out. When they see the uh, memory booster, the Nintendo's unique memory expansion slot leaves room for upgrades where in future games demand more memory. When the 64DD ships sometimes next year, it will include a one or two megabyte RAM upgrade so that the DD games can take full advantage of the system's hardware. This is done through a jumper pack that is inserted into the memory expansion port. It's not known at this point whether Nintendo will sell RAM separately from the one package with the 64DD. 
So uh, certainly preferable to have the uh, memory jumper pack in there. Or grab one if you can at a reasonable price. Here's the power supply, how it's hooked up. Uh, inside the N64, anti-aliasing, bilinear interpolation, clipping, culling, trilinear interpolation, dithering, double buffering, Z buffering. All the uh, advanced features of it. Storage to go. The expansion port on the bottom is for the upcoming 64DD peripheral, also known as the bulky drive, which uh, we never ended up getting. Uh, so there, if you take apart uh, inside the cart, standard N64 chipset board that you'll normally see. Silicon graphics. When Nintendo announced they were teaming with Silicon Graphics to create the ultimate next-gen console, it came as no surprise in 1993. Pilot Wing 64, definitely a must-have game that you should have if you're into uh, the N64 system. I don't think people enough people give that game credit. It really was a fun game. My favorite was the um, well, the hang, the, actually the uh, the parachute jump, trying to get into the center it was always fun. Though the jetpack was pretty good too. More pilot wings. Uh, position of the stars. Sometimes it's just fun to check out where the stars are in each level. I haven't played that game in years. And then they just obviously give you all the different tasks. Whether you're wearing your rocket belt, whether or not you got the gyrocopter on, the hang glider. Cannonball shoot. That was fun. Super tips to get the best possible score. Mm, more parachuting tips. Wow, they really go in depth on here. Rocket belt again. All right. So, how paired in. It's currently the only license to sell Nintendo development systems outside of the NDS. Texas-based company. Period simulation. Huh. I guess that's like, that one's a computer simulator, though. Super Mario 64, exploration of the entire 3D world. Release date, September 30th. So this is where they give you info on all the game. Also in terms of finding all 100 and, what was it, 20 stars? Yep, 120 stars. I remember I played this game... Uh, Hours on end when I had it. Tips on Mario's special moves, jumps, crawls, squatting slides. Course five. Course six. Where's this one? Seven Fire World Course Eight. This was uh, Pyramids, right? I don't remember much of this game, it's been so long. 
course nine, that's uh, underwater, isn't it? 10 is the ice world. 11. Oh, wow. there is a lot to this game. Fifteen. Once you have all 120 stars, go back to race the penguin again in course four since you last met and penguins gained a lot of weight and speed. Huh. Got a little bit of uh, backstory on Miyamoto. Miyamoto's eight and 16 bit hit lists for the NES. Donkey Kong, Mario, Super Mario, Zelda, Link, Mario Brothers 3. And for the Super Nintendo, Super Mario World, F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Link to the Past, Mario Kart, Star Fox, Super Mario All-Stars, Stunt Race FX, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, DK Country 2, and Super Mario RPG. All right, what's this? You mean they get paid for playing games? Yeah, that's right. So these are, what are these tips? Oh, Shadows of the Empire, that's a good one to have. Cruise in USA, that's okay on the 64. Star Fox 64, it's a good game. Body Harvest, I can't say I've ever tried that one. Blast Core, uh, that's all right. I'm interested in checking out this Body Harvest though. What is it? Save the world from harvesting insect invaders. Take command of over 130 vehicles, each from a different time period. From steamboats to planes and tanks from every era imaginable. And then Killer Instinct, I didn't really get into the fighting games that much. Though for some reason I still uh, collect and have a bunch of them on my, on my shelves. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. You could walk and trip over that game. <laughs> Top Gear Rally. It's one of my favorite car shows. I don't know how good it is on uh, the 64, though. Can't see I've tried it. It says Mission Impossible. Freak Boy. I don't think I've ever even seen that one. Turok is one of the first games... Uh, I had for the 64, and I remember making myself like it. In the end, it ended up being a fun game, but, you know, if you're into, uh, I'd say, like, Doom style, it's, uh, you'd probably enjoy that. Robotech, I've never even seen this one, though I'm a fan of uh, the Robotech anime. Goldeneye, that's the game that... Uh, in my opinion, really made the 64 super popular. Doom 64 is good. Ultra Combat, never played it. NBA Hang Time, I don't care. War Gods. I don't think I've seen that one. And previews. It's coming out. Tetrasphere, Imagineer Baseball, Ku Anpa, Yoshi's Island, Wonder Project J2. That looks interesting. Bomberman 64 is good. I 
Nintendo on the net. Um, just talking about Nintendo's homepage. Nintendo.com. You know, I guess that's still around. It was this 96, right? Back when the... I can't remember what the internet was like back then. And that's it. Under construction. Look for these and other hot Nintendo titles coming soon. Super Mario, Pilot Wing 64, blah, blah, blah. Whole crap load of 64 games. A lot of the ones we just went through, so. Pretty cool. Definitely a specialized issue of uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. But uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little let's read. I uh, My first time actually going through this particular issue since I picked it up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys again real soon.